Hello and welcome back to my channel. I think if you if you can hear me, you probably can tell that my voice is not lining up with what is being said by the video of me. Don't know what happened, but the the audio of this is just gone. So we're gonna just do a very quick voiceover episode of Mess Mess. My name is Hope Mess Tom, and if you are new to my channel, maybe don't start with this video. But if you are new to my channel, I spend a lot of time focusing on my collection, being critical of my makeup collection, and also new releases. I'm in the middle of a six month no buy, and for Christmas time this year, for this December, I am trying to touch all of my makeup and put it on my face one more time before the end of the year because I feel like I don't know my makeup collection very well. So once I use an item, it gets removed from my drawers and put in this box and then we move along and I can't use that item again until I've used everything in that category and then I can bring them back out and cycle through them again like bronzers. If I use all my bronzers, I can pull all my bronzers back out. Any whoops. <laughs> Let's just get into the video and the application and play some music and then I will report back at the end what I thought of everything I used in this video. So in this close-up, you can see there's mascara under my eye. I believe that is, I, I, I sprayed my face after applying mascara, which is not something I usually do, but I did want to give you a close-up of my skin with the Glossier skin tint and all of the stuff that I used just so you can see it. I think we're looking good with the exception of the mascara, but okay, let's move on to final thoughts. Okay, the Bobbi Brown Face Base, it's my favorite primer. It will always be my favorite primer. Well, it probably it won't always be, but as of right now, it is the one I can see myself using into the foreseeable future. I really like the Glossier Skin Tint. It's very light coverage, but I really like the blur that it gives. I think my skin looks really healthy and great, but also not too done up. It's like the no makeup, no makeup. If you're into that, you're into that. If you're not, you're not. And I, I like the lighter coverage, so I very much enjoy this product. And I actually reviewed Glossier at one point and I didn't like this product then, but I've come around. This isn't my first time using the Clinique, but this is probably the most successful I've been using the Clinique. I think it is more suited for a lesser coverage day, but I still just didn't like the texture of it. I felt like it stayed a little bit tacky before I powdered, like it wasn't gonna set itself like I needed to set it. So it's not like for me, but it wasn't, it was not the worst, but I don't foresee it staying in my collection after this month. 
Hourglass Dim Light. It is a, such a beautiful product. And the way it finishes the skin, it makes it look healthy and glowy no matter how matte you go. Hourglass powders are really a beautiful I think they're all beautiful, personally. I like I like the blushes, the bronzers. I like all of it. So I really like this. I don't know if it's something that I would repurchase again, but I do like having it for now. The Hourglass Bronzer is the bronzer that made me love bronzer. It's a beautiful product. It's really, it's really hard to overdo it. It gives you that beautiful warmth. It is just my favorite product, and I hope they expand their bronzer range to be more applicable for more skin tones because it's such a beautiful product. The Hourglass Blush in Incandescent Electra. Not my favorite shade of the Hourglass Blush, but it is a nice product and I I will keep using it. I don't know if it will stay in my collection forever, but I really do like having it for now. The Westman Atelier Highlight Stick in Lit Up, I ended up really, really liking. I have used this product before with just tapping my fingers into the skin with the product on my fingers, and it just didn't give the same impact as dragging it on my skin did in this look today, and it really, really gave such a more beautiful finish than it does when I've used it before. So I really like this. I also am happy to report that I did pay attention. At the end of the day, there was no tackiness, so it does set. All right, the Wild at Heart Chrome Paint from Tarte. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful little product. It's not something I use often, and I don't know it'll be in my collection forever, but I really like having it for now. I think it's a very nice, it's just, it is very nice. I should use it with some other shadows, but I do really like it kind of as an all over look. It maybe is a bit too late for that. Maybe I should put something a little bit darker underneath it to give it a little more intrigue, but it's a beautiful product. The Love Potion Lip Gloss from Pat McGrath. Again, this lip gloss is pretty milky, but I think I used it, I've only ever really used it mostly as a topper. On its own, it's fine. It's not as bad as the other shade that I used the other day, but it's still not my favorite lip gloss shade. So I, I will probably use all of my Pat McGrath lip glosses over time, but just not my favorite shade. All right, that wraps up this video for Mesmus. Sorry, it was, as promised, a mess. But don't worry, the next videos that will be released all have audio because I have checked and I've recorded them, so it's all good. <laughs> We're doing great. I appreciate you all so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to this video if you enjoyed this content. And yeah, I'm just going to leave it right here. Follow your hoat and you will find me. <laughs> I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.